Hello everyone and welcome to Veterans Memorial Stadium where tonight the North Quincy Raiders will play host to the Lancers of Malvern Catholic High School. My name is Jonathan Calarian. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of QATV Sports. North Quincy back here at Veterans Memorial Stadium for their second home game of the year. They uh, played at Somerville back on September 10th and had a big victory, 44 to nothing, one of the biggest victories in North Quincy Raider history. Uh, it's a really dominant victory for the Raiders and looking to see if they can get another victory here tonight against the Lancers. Uh, Malden Catholic comes in tonight with a record of 0-2, having lost to Weymouth and Ashland last week. Uh, so again, North looking to see if they can get a victory. This is the first matchup in the history between these two teams. MC has played Quincy High School a few times the past couple of years, uh, but first time playing against the Raiders here at the stadium. All right, captain's getting ready to come out onto the field. For North Quincy, captain's coming out. Number five, Nate Caldwell. Number six, Grant Murphy. And number 56, Dylan Clifford. Okay, wait two seconds, guys. All right, we'll go down to the uh, referee for guys, our coin tonight. toss. Good luck tonight. Good luck tonight, guys. Good luck. Guys, shake hands and introduce yourselves. <laughs> Gentlemen, my name is Mr. Coleman. I'm going to be the referee. This is Mr. Pearlstein. He's going to be the umpire. We're going to be the two guys in the middle all night. Okay? You're going to be dealing with us almost all night. You guys have been chosen to tap into the leaders. We expect you to lead by example. If you have any problems with anybody on your team as far as discipline, we're going to be and if you can't handle them, then we're going to have to throw flags. We don't want to throw flags. We want you guys to determine the outcome. Any questions? Okay, Malden Catholic is a visiting team tonight. They're going to call a toss. The coin we got. The official is ahead. The football is a tail. What are you going to call? Oh, he's calling. Okay. Tails. It didn't fail. Malden Catholic, you want to toss? You want to defer to the second half. White won the toss. Chose to defer to the second half. Red, you want the ball, right? Yes. Which way do you want to kick? Put your backs that way. Put your backs this way. God, dude. Red's going to receive. White's going to kick off going that way. Guys, shake hands. For good game. So as you heard there, Malvin Catholic won the toss and elected to the further option to the second half. So they'll be kicking away to defend the north end zone. North Quincy will receive the opening kick and defending the south end zone here at the stadium. The uh, combined Quincy North Quincy marching band is out onto the field and they'll be performing our national anthem. So we'll turn it over to them. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you all please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem by the Quincy North Quincy marching band.
All right, great job there by the combined band from Quincy North Quincy High School. The first outing here this season for the football games, so glad to have them back here at the stadium. Looking forward to them performing at the half as well. Mentioned uh, North Quincy winning their first game over Somerville by a score of 44 to nothing. It was a great all-around effort by the Raiders that game. Uh, Sydney Green, Nate Caldwell, Nate Sampson, Ariel White, Devin Tran all scored for the Raiders in that game. So again, good all-around effort. Nate Caldwell had two kick returns for touchdowns as well. Uh, one of them was after a safety, and then he had a punt return for the six points for North Quincy. Getting ready to kick it away for MC it will be Nicholas Pava. All right, it's fielded up at the mid by the 35 yard line, maybe the 36 there. Dominic Gonzalez jumps on the ball there for North Quincy, and that's where they will start this drive. First and 10. From the 36 yard line. And they do mark it at the 36. The quarterback for the Raiders, number 17, Mikey Galligan. All right, Mikey Galligan, number 17, sophomore quarterback for North Quincy in the shotgun. Looking to pass, pass into the flat, and it is complete. complete. Looks like it was Jordan Mahoney. Mahoney's going to get hit behind the line of scrimmage, and it's going to be a loss of two on the play. Actually, a loss on the play of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11 for the Raiders. All right, ball back at the 34-yard uh, line. Two-yard loss on that last pass. Handoff over to the left side for North. And it looks like on the handoff there was number nine for North Quiddy, Sydney Green. And Green gets back to the original line of scrimmage, it looks like, maybe an extra yard on the play. And they're going to say he gets up to the 36. Third and long for North Quincy. And going to quarterback keep a nice move there. And big run up the middle of the field. And look like Galligan's going to go all the way for the touchdown, and he does. Mikey Galligan, what a move there at midfield for North Quincy. Juke to the defenders to the left, and then he went to the right to go up the middle of the field, as you see here on the replay. As you can see there, nice jab step to the left, and was able to open up the field there for Galligan, and he goes all the way for the touchdown for North Quincy. All right, Nate Caldwell getting ready to kick the extra point for the Raiders. Good snap, good hole, kick is up, and it is good. So at 10.22 to go here in the first quarter, North Quincy strikes first with a big, huge run there. 64-yard run 
by Mikey Galligan and North on top now, seven to nothing. Codwell throws one ball away and gets another ball onto the tee. Back deep for MC, Anthony Noble and Cam Young. Grip kick there by Caldwell, bounces and gonna be fielded at the 20 yard line. Ball's loose on the ground. Cam Young couldn't control the ground ball there and finally does jump on it and they're gonna start at about their 23 yard line. Do spot the ball at the 23-yard line. So we first and 10 there for MC. George Rogers, the quarterback, number three. Young goes in motion, high snap, barely get it down though. Marcus Rojas was on the carry there. Ball up to the 31 yard line there by Rojas. Second down and two now. Tanoff goes to Cam Young over to the left side. Trying to get to the outside. Nice pursuit there by North Quincy. And they're going to say it looks like no gain there. We'll see where they mark him out of bounds. And it does look like it's going to be. Yeah. Murphy's still trying to spot the ball then. And they're going to say it's just past the 31 yard line. So say no gain. Third and about two now for for the Lancers. Rojas on the carry, nice move there by Rojas over to the left side. Was able to break a couple tackles and get the first down for MC, and gets up to about 39 yard line there on the first down. All right, Dumark at the 39. Eight yard run there by Rojas. Pitch over to the right side, Rojas again. Rojas gets the outside, flag thrown on the play. Flag thrown back at the 48 yard line. Rojas gets up to the North Quincy 48. We'll see what the penalty is. Which way, Coach, going back? Yeah, It's gonna be a hold against Malden Catholic. We have holding on white, number 88. 
take a look at the replay real quick here on that last one. And you can see Rojas goes over to the right side and hold right there in the middle of the screen there by number, uh, by the wide receiver there. It was on. So first and 11 now for MC. Handoff Cam Young over to the left side and does a nice job getting away from one tackler but can't get away from the second. Does get across the 40 yard line and they're gonna mark him down about the 41. So about a three yard gain on the last play there. Coming up on eight minutes to go here in the first quarter. Pass there by Rogers and it is incomplete. Was looking for Douglas Goodwin. All right, coming in third and about eight now for for the Lancers. Handoff up the middle. Ethan Tracy, ball comes loose. And it looks like North Quincy has recovered there. And they have. North Quincy does a nice job there, forcing the fumble. And the Raiders recover in MC territory. Take a look at the replay here. And they couldn't see who was there. Actually, it's number 73. It looks like for North Quincy, Jefferson Lorette, who's able to get his hand in there and force the fumble. Nice job there by North. And flag thrown on the play, as you see in offsides there. Offside against the Lancers. Five yard penalty. Look at a dead ball fall. Offside, Malden. First down. First and five. So North gets a. Free five yards there, bring up first and five now. Start this drive. Toss up to the left side for North. And nice pursuit there. Handoff went to number nine for North Quincy, Sydney Green. But, and actually, the ball came loose as well, but was able to recover it for North. And ball goes all the way back to the 42. Galligan in the shotgun. Having some pressure from behind him. And over to the left, Galligan runs it out of bounds and he's gonna go up to about the 35 yard line and gonna be just shy of the first down. You know, flag thrown on the play, a couple flags on the play. And it's gonna be hold against North Quincy. It's gonna be a hold against North Quincy here. Flags at the 50 yard line. Against Red. Repeat second down. Take a look at the uh, replay real quick. And you can see right in the right hand side of the screen there as the end was coming in, got held there. 
All right, back to live action now. North with a ball and another fumble there for North Quincy. Galligan couldn't control the snap. And he was able to jump on it, thankfully. And it's going to be all the way back now to the 37-yard line. Take a look real quick here at the uh, replay. And caught it just at the end there. Oh, there we go. Rewind it here. And ball came just a little high. Looks like you can see him in the face mask. But Galligan jumps on it there with one, two, three, four lances all around him. So a break there at least. But third and about 30 now for North Quincy. Lance is moving back, Galligan in trouble. He's going to get sacked. Ball comes loose again. Ball's still loose. And I think North Quincy recovered. But it goes all the way back to the 29-yard line. And it's going to be fourth down. Another big play there for the Lancers. We'll take a look on the replay. As Galligan was in trouble, he was a lot of pressure. And looked like it was Matthew Newhouse, number 71. Oh, she's number 11, excuse me. Are you out of like a North Quincy forced to punt. And ball touched the foot of one of the MC guys. We'll see. North Quincy is saying the ball touched the MC defender. Uh, the player and we'll have to see what happens here North Quincy saying it's their ball still haven't seen a sign and I think it's going to say I think I say it's MC's ball all right we'll take a look at the replay here real quick and Play it down at full speed here. You can see DeMonte Van Hennigan and North Quincy said it touched his foot. But they're going to say it did not. So look like MC got a break there. Ball goes back to their own 45 yard line. Nice drop down in our truck here. Lots of replays, fast and furious early here in the game. So good job to uh, Peter Doherty, Anna El Torre, and Chris Potter in the truck. And I also want to thank Scott Daniels on camera tonight. All right, first and 10 for the Lancers at their own 45. Hand off goes to Rojas over to the left side. And another nice run there by Rojas on first down. And we'll see if they got up to midfield or not. They're going to say he's just shy of midfield on that run. That is a pickup of five yards. And actually, they're going to spot the ball right at the midfield there. Knows that the ball is just touching the 50s. So five yard gain, second and five. High snap goes over the quarterback's head. Ball comes loose, and North Quincy recovered. At about the 36-yard line, North was able to grab for that ball when hit through the hands of the quarterback. George Rogers couldn't hold on to the snap, and North was right there to pounce on it, as we're going to see here on the replay. North Quincy had a couple guys right up there, and nice job there by number six, Grant Murphy, to push the quarterback away, and that allowed, I believe, it Missed the number for, actually it's number 56 for North Quincy, Dylan Clifford who was able to pounce on the ball there. So great job there by North. And a couple turnovers here, North's back in business. Galligan pass and it is complete over to the right side. And it looks like it was number nine there, Sidney Green on the catch for North Quincy. And they're going to say he's down at the 32. That's 
Four-yard gain for North Quincy, second down and six now. Ball comes loose again, and Galligan's able to jump on it. Several s fumbles on the snaps here, both teams here in the beginning of the, of the game, first quarter. And another loss now for North Quincy. It's going to go back to the original line of scrimmage, and they're going to say back to the 37-yard line. Actually, it's even going to be uh, more of a loss. So it's going to be third and 11 now for North Quincy, as we'll see here on that last play. Galligan luckily to jump on that ball. All right, third and 11. Over to the left, Green on the run, trying to get to the outside. Nice pursuit there by MC, and they're going to push him out of bounds. And push him out of bounds at about the uh, 35. C.J. Firmino over there on the tackle for MC. Fourth and long now. So fourth and nine. Again, fourth down for North Quincy. Play action fake. Galligan looking. Has some space. Man, way downfield's wide open. Complete touchdown, North Quincy. Nate Sampson on the return. Was able to get away from the defender. Nice job there by North, and they put it in for six. I think we'll take a look at the replay here as North Quincy able to strike again. Galligan did a nice job there, freeing up some space. Throws it downfield. And you can see right there, but a five yard distance between he and the nearest defender. Our extra point attempt here for North Quincy. Kick is up and it is good by Nate Caldwell. So North Quincy strikes there. They get seven points off the MC fumble. And the score is now 14 to nothing. Take a look at the uh, touchdown pass there again real quick from, from North Quincy as we wait for the uh, teams to come out onto the field. And again, I mentioned it was a nice job by Galligan. You can see him rolling out to his left there, create some space, and gave enough, just enough time for uh, Nate Sampson to get open and go in for the score. Young and Adelike back to receive. Actually, just Cam Young back deep now for for Malvin Catholic. Caldwell goes through the hands. Ball comes loose, and MC ball is still loose on the ground. They can't control it, and. North thinks they received it. So see if they jumped on it at the 15-yard line. And they did. North Quincy comes down there, and they jump on it. MC couldn't control the ground ball there. Went through the legs of a couple of different players. And North comes down, and all the way at the 15-yard line, they are back in business here with 142 left to go in the first. We'll take a look at the replay here. As you can see, uh, 
Again, Caldwell's goes through the legs, over the hands of one. They try to jump on there, can't control it. And not sure who jumped over a couple of defenders there to get the ball for North Quincy, but great effort there by North. It's north, first and 10 from the MC 15. Gallican takes the hands off, looking to run. Trying to tell a man to go deep in the end zone, and did he, did he catch it? Looks like he did, flag thrown on the play. And I think we might have an offensive pass interference. See, we'll wait for the call here, see what the official says. It was a great catch in the back of the end zone, but it might have been a push off there. Nope, the referee's gonna come over and talk he to. Oh, they're gonna say he stepped out of bounds before he went into the back there. So it was an illegal oh. touch. Against Red. Second down. Let's take a look at the replay real quick here. And he's looking for Nate Caldwell in the back of the end zone. Great catch there by Caldwell, but you can see he stepped out of bounds right around the two-yard line. Another pass, and Caldwell almost came up with another circus catch there, but couldn't bring it in. Second pass was intended there for Caldwell, could not connect. Gonna bring up now a third and 10 for North Quincy. Again, third and 10 for North Quincy. Pitch over to the left side, ball comes loose again, and still came loose was a pitch to Ben Hudak, and MC says they have it. Officials are piling everybody off, and MC has the ball. Take a look and see who came up with there for MC. It was number, I think it was number 51, no, excuse me, I think it was 61, Steven Chiapa. Let's take a look at the replay real quick here. And loose balls continue all over the place here tonight. Oh, well, it looks like it was number 51 actually. Richard Indrasano. I right, put the ball at the 13 yard line. Handoff for MC, pushing the pile over to the left side and getting up to about the 15 yard line. It was the ball carry, trying to see who it was there for MC. I believe it was Cam Young. No, I'm sorry, it was number eight, Marcus Rojas. Thirty seconds left to go here in the quarter. Rogers, quarterback in the shotgun, looking to pass, looking downfield, throws it to two receivers, and it goes incomplete, and no flag thrown. Well covered. Three Raiders 
in the area. Take a look at the pay, last play, excuse me, real quick, downfield. Hunter threw his receiver just a little bit there and that allowed the North defenders to get over there and help out. I believe it was Ethan Tracy downfield there. Third and eight now for the Lancers. Rogers again pass over to the left side and it is complete to Tracy. He has the first down and we'll move the change there for Malden Catholic. They're gonna spot the ball at the 24 yard line it looks like. I believe that is going to be the end of the quarter, and it is. So, exciting first quarter here for North Quincy, and they lead Malton Catholic by a score of 14 to nothing. I want to remind all of our viewers, you can log on to Quincy Access TV's website at www.qatv.org for program schedules, membership information, video on demand, and live streaming as well. So again, qatv.org. I want to welcome all of our viewers watching live on QATV Channel 8, QATV 1072, our HD channel, and online as well. QATV will be back here at the stadium tomorrow night when Quincy High School takes to the field play the Wolverines at Westwood High School. That game starts at 7 p.m. as well. You can tune in on Channel 8, Channel 1072, and online at qatv.org slash sports to watch that game too. We do spot the ball on that last play at the 24-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for MC. Rojas on the carry over to the right side. Has a blocker in front of him. Nice job there by Rojas. And he's going to get another first down all the way up to about the 35-yard line. No huddle now, Malvin Catholic is, trying to speed things up. Pitch to the left this time. Rojas with the ball, breaks through, took a couple tackles, another nice move there by him. Gets across to 40, and let's spot him down about the 41. Take a look at the replay here. As you can see Rojas running over there, evades one tackle there from behind. And got hit there low. Looked like it was Nate Caldwell coming up to make a nice tackle there for North Quincy. Second down and about four now. Hand off over to the right side. Flag thrown on the play. We're holding against White. Holding. And it's going to be a hold against MC, so it'll come back. And ball, excuse me, the flag's thrown at the 40 yard line. Holding against White. Repeat second down.
That was Ben Howard on the carry there for MC. Rogers handed off Rojas on the carry. Trying to get outside. Nice pursuit there by North Quincy. And going to bring him back down at about the 30-yard line for no gain. All right, third and about 15 now for Malden Catholic. Fake the pass and hand it off up the middle. Nice run there by Malden Catholic. Goes to number 10, Ethan Tracy. Tracy gets across the 40 to about the 41 yard line. Take a look at the replay here. As you can see, they fake the handoff, fake the pass, and give the Tracy. He goes up the middle. And he did a nice job there to get the 11-yard gain, but it brings up a fourth, about four now for MC. All right, again, fourth and four. And we're going to have a false start, it looks like, against Malden Catholic. It's White, 88. He was leaning too much, he took a step. All right, so five yard loss there. Fourth down. Okay, the official there. Right, so bringing up fourth and nine now for MC. So that's a big five yards there here on fourth down. George Rogers, quarterback for Malton Catholic. Looking to pass over to his right side, and it's complete to Tracy. Nice job there by Ethan Tracy over to the right. Was able to evade the North Quincy tackler, and he gets out of bounds, but picks up the first down. Take a look at the replay here. And again, you can see the nice place there by Tracy. Spun over to his left, and was able to get up the first down for Malton Catholic. And spot the ball at the 48. Eight oh two left to go here in the second quarter. Fourteen nothing. North Quincy on top. Malden Catholic driving down the field. Rojas in the carry. Nice step in the backfield. Pick up a few yards there. Crosses midfield and he's going to get brought down at the North Quincy forty-five. Rojas carry, getting pursued from behind there by North Quincy. Great job there by Jordan Mahoney to come from behind and try to bring down Rojas. Take a look at the replay here, and you'll be able to see uh, number 10, Jordan Mahoney, coming from behind there in the pursuit. And looks like we lost the replay there, but I have to take my word for it. There as Mahoney came from behind the play, rushed right in, 
and was able to prevent that play from being a big one there. And spot the ball right at the 45 yard line. Third down and three now for the Lancers. Rogers just able to hold on to the ball, but that little bit of a delay allows North Quincy to get in there. Rojas had nowhere to go quickly, and we're gonna see, it looks like it's gonna be no gain. Spot the ball back at the 45. So fourth down now for Malden Catholic. Fourth and three. Give it to Rojas. Rojas first down and more for the Lancers. Nice job there by him to get blow through that hole. Crosses the 40 yard line, gets brought down at about the 38. They get the 37 where they spot him down. Another run there by uh, Marcus Rojas. Spot him down now at the 32, it looks like. Second down and five now for MC. Ball comes loose on the snap, and Rojas is able to jump on it. But a big loss there. He's going to go all the way back now to about the 38 yard line. So they do spot it back at the 38. So third and 11 now. Four fifteen left to go here in the quarter, and timeout's going to be called by Malvin Catholic. First timeout of the half called by either team there, with four eleven left to go here in the quarter, and this is. Game number two on the season for North Quincy. Last week they had an early bye in week number two. Week number one, they were here at the stadium where they defeated Somerville by a score of 44 to nothing. North Quincy had a huge second quarter against Somerville, putting 23 points up on the board to lead the way. And again, I mentioned at the top of the telecast, it was one of the largest victories in North Quincy history. Martin Dunham, who was calling the game with me that day, went back into his record book and it looked like it was all the way back into the late 50s when North Quincy had a 48 to nothing victory. So it's the largest victory for North since then. Next week, North Quincy will be home again, opening up three home games for the season. They'll be playing on Thursday night against the Green Wave of Abington on September 29th. And that's a 7 p.m. kickoff here at the stadium. Our third and long, Rojas on the carry, and big tackle there for North Quincy coming up to make the play was Alan Guan, number 44. And they're going to spot Rojas down at the 36. All right, fourth and long now for the Lancers. Rogers looking past him to his left side, and it is incomplete. Was looking for number 10, Ethan Tracy, 
but could not connect on the pass, and North Quincy able to hold and turn the ball over on downs, and they'll take over now with 3.21 left to go here in the quarter. North comes out. High formation behind uh, Mikey Galligan, the quarterback. Handoff goes to Sidney Green. Green goes up the middle and gets to about the 40 yard line. We'll see if they mark him down at the 40, and they, they do. Over to the right side to Green, trying to get outside. Nice pursuit there by MC. And big tackle there by Ethan Tracy as Green had nowhere to run. And they'll spot him down at the 40 yard line. The pickup of one yard. Third and five. Well, they especially give him up to the 41 yard line. So they'll say a one yard gain. Brings up a third and five now for North Quincy. against North Quincy. Move the ball back to the 36 yard line. And our officials heading over to talk to the head coach, Joe Gaff. Hold on, hold on. Oh, the legal procedure. Clock will start on a snap. On a snap. All right, so third and ten now for North. Galligan looking to pass, being pursued, and. He looking to throw the ball away, but instead he's going to get pushed out of bounds. It's a big loss there. And going to go all the way back to the, let's see if they pushed him out of bounds, about the 28 yard line. And actually, they're going to stay back to the 27. Jordan Mahoney back to kick for North Quincy. Good kick here. North Quincy gets a little bit of a roll. And still going. And it's going to stop at the 40, excuse me, the 35 yard line. And the ball rolls all the way to the 34 yard line of Malden Catholic. And the Lancers will take over. That plays a difference of tackle staying inside. That's the difference. Take a look at the replay real quick here. As you can see, the ball and the punt just takes a nice North Quincy roll. And see it bounced there at about the 44-yard line and roll another nine yards there for North Quincy. So MC will take over here on their own 35-yard line. 127 left to go. And nice job there by MC to get the re reception. And 
and ball goes up to the 45 yard line. First down for MC. Rojas on the carry. He's looking to go up the middle, he has to go over to the left. Nice job there by North Rojas Quincy. And Rojas will get a gain of maybe two on the play. Look at the replay real quick. Actually, no, we're going to stay live as they're going no huddle here. Only one yard gain there by Rojas. 50 seconds to go here in the quarter. Rogers looking to pass, and he's going to get sacked, and the ball comes loose, and North Quincy recovers. Right at the 41 yard line, North Quincy picks up the big play there. Ball was recovered by number 73, Jefferson Lorette. And I missed the number on the sack, but we'll take a look here who it was for North Quincy on the replay. And looks like it was number nine for North Quincy. Actually, number six, I mean, Grant Murphy on the sack. Great job there by North. Right, so North takes over on the MC 41 yard line and looks like North Quincy is gonna call a timeout there. Coach Ryan timeout. Craig. like to take this opportunity to give a shout out to two of my good friends on the faculty at Morgan Catholic High School, Rich Hickey of the math department and Rick Gates of the physics department. North comes out. First and 10. Galligan looking to pass, and he's going to get sacked and brought down there. Big play there by number 88, Ben Howard, to come up and make the sack. And North Quincy. North Quincy has called timeout. The clock hadn't stopped. So we'll see if they put some more time on there. Ball goes back to the 46 yard line. North Quincy called the timeout. There was about 32, 33 seconds left on the clock, but did not stop, so 27 seconds left to go here now. comes out, three receivers to the left. Low snap, Galgan picks it up. And screen pass there, it was almost tipped away. Big pass is complete, going up the field. Big run here by North Quincy, up to the 10. And finally brought down at the 10 yard line there is number 10, Jordan Mahoney. Huge run there by Mahoney. And North Quincy calls another timeout to stop the clock with 17 seconds left to go. We'll take a look at the replay here. As North Quincy did a great job of setting up that play. The pass was almost broken up. But Mahoney goes all the way down and was able to finally get again brought down at about the 10 yard line. That's where they do spot him down.
36 yard gain on the play there by North Quincy. Right, North comes out. Galligan looking to pass, looking to pass over to the right side, and it goes incomplete. Was looking for Nate Caldwell streaking across the end zone, but could not connect. So second and goal now from the 10 for North Quincy. 13 seconds left to go in the half. Mahoney in the backfield, Galligan looking to pass, rolling out to his left. And Galligan has a man open in the end zone. Touchdown, North Quincy. Touchdown. Nate Sampson. Oh, and a flag is thrown on the play here before we go to the replay. We have an illegal forward pass. He was over the line of scrimmage. So they're going to say Galligan was over the line of scrimmage when he threw the ball. Quarterback was past the line of scrimmage. All right, we'll take a look at the replay here real quick. And tough break there for North Quincy as it was a touchdown. And you can see just right there was ahead of the line of scrimmage, threw the ball at the nine. Five seconds left on the clock. All right, so North Quincy with five seconds left to go. Ball will go back to the 15 yard line, and Nate Caldwell will attempt the field goal. Kick is up and it is no good, just wide to the right. All right, we'll take a look at the replay here real quick. The snap was good, the hole was good, and his call will just pushed it to the right a little bit, as you can see there. So North Quincy, nice effort down there at the end of the half to try to put some extra points on the board, but cannot succeed here. So at the half, North Quincy with a 14-point lead over the Malden Catholic Lancers. We will take a time out here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. We'll be back with second half coverage in just a little bit.
teenagers, Jack and Bryn, is your band ready? Salute. Q and Q, marching band and color guard, you may take the field. <laughs>
Welcome back everyone to Veterans Memorial Stadium. We're at the half. North Quincy leads Malden Catholic by a score of 14 to nothing. Real quick, we'll run down some stats for North Quincy. Quarterback Mikey Galligan, 5 of 7 for passing, 73 yards and one touchdown. Galligan also has 56 yards rushing and a touchdown on the ground as well. Sidney Green, 6 yards rushing for North Quincy. Through the air, Nate Sampson has one catch for 35 yards and Green has a catch as well. Jordan Mahoney, two catches for 34 yards. For MC, George Rogers, the quarterback, 3 of 6 passing for 31 yards. Marcus Rojas leading the way on the ground, 15 rushes for 72 yards. Ethan Tracy has 14 yards on the ground as well. Tracy with two receptions and 21 yards through the air for the Lancers. Teams back out onto the field. I want to say a good job to the cheerleaders of North Quincy High School and the combined Quincy North Quincy Marching Band out in the field performing their halftime uh, performance. So great job there entertaining the crowd here at the stadium during the half. A little bit of a longer half than the teams might be normally used to. So uh, North Quincy out there trying to get loosened up from being in the locker room for an extended period of time. And I want to mention uh, everyone down in the truck here for QA TV doing a great job here tonight. Our director is Peter Doherty. Our engineer is Chris Potter on graphics and El Tori. And our camera person is Scott Daniels. So I want to thank them all for coming out here. First chilly game here of the season here at the stadium. Temperature about low 50s right now. And uh, so a little bit of a difference temperature here. Um, we're going to be back here tomorrow night when Quincy High plays Westwood. It'll be a little bit warmer here, so definitely a difference from between the first couple of games here for North Quincy when we were here a couple weeks ago when it was a you know, warm night here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. And, uh, so a couple of weeks can make a difference here in September. All right, Malden Catholic won the opening coin toss and looked to receive in the second half. So North Quincy will be getting the ready to kick away to MC to begin the half here. Senior Nate Caldwell getting ready to kick it away for North Quincy. Nice kick there by Caldwell. Ball gets loose again. And finally jumped on there by MC down inside the 10, excuse me, inside the 15 and at the 14 yard line. Anthony Noble was the man who jumped on it for the Lancers. Ball at the 15-yard line for MC to start here in the third quarter. George Rogers, quarterback for MC. And off goes number six, Cam Young over to the left side. Nice run here by Young. It's across the 20 yard line and they're gonna spot him down about the 23 it looks like. And they do spot him down at the 23, eight yard gain. Marcus Rojas, nice juke there over to the left side. Has some space down the left sideline for Rojas, and will get pushed out of bounds there by North Quincy's number five, Nate Caldwell. But a nice run there by Rojas as he gets a big first down to move the chains, and they're going to say he went out of bounds at about the 43-yard line, as you'll see here on the replay. See, so right there, Rojas was able to sneak away from a tackle, 
and go down the left sideline. And Caldwell was able to come over there and push him out of bounds, and they spot him down at the 42. First and 10 Lancers. They're on 42. Handoff goes to number 10, Ethan Tracy. And Tracy able to sneak through the line there and get up some positive yardage up to about the 48 yard line. MC comes to the line again, second down in about four. And off the Rojas there, and big play there by North Quincy. Coming up there to make the tackle was Dylan Clifford. Take a look at the replay here as Clifford was able to break through. Went right past the defender and brings him down for a loss. Go back to the 46 yard line. Third and about six for the Lancers. Pass over to the left sideline, and it's intercepted. No, dropped there by North Quincy. Coming over there. Take a look at the replay here real quick. And hey, Panaretti almost picked it off. Fourth and six, and the Lancers will kick it away. They call ball back deep for North Quincy to receive the kick. And flag thrown on the play. And it looks like it's going to be two men on the field. we got a dead ball foul. Illegal substitution, 12 men on the field. Five yards low. Illegal procedure, too many men on the field against... So the ball goes back to the 42, and whistles blow again. And they're going to move it back to the 40 yard line. Nice high kick there by Malden Catholic, and it's going to take a Lance's roll as well, all the way down to the 20, and still rolling all the way down to about the 16-yard line. That punt will roll all the way to the 17-yard line of North Lindsay. First and 10 Raiders. Spot the ball back at the 16 yard line. 9.13 left to go when North Quincy takes over. First possession here of the second half for the Raiders. Sydney Green on the, res on the run, excuse me, for North Quincy. He's going to go nowhere fast. Nice job there. Coming up there was Ben Howard to make the tackle. Ball carried by number nine, Sidney Green. No game. Going to be about a three-yard loss in the play. So make it a two-yard loss at the 14-yard line where they spot it.
Green going in motion. Looking to pass and coming up from behind. He's going to get sacked. Ball comes loose. And it looks like MC has recovered the ball. Ben Howard coming up with a strip sack there from behind of quarterback Mikey Galligan. And still no signal from the officials on who recovered the ball. And it looks like MC has it. And it looks like it will be MC ball. Baldy Catholic recovers the we'll Take a look at the replay here. And you can see right there on the bottom of your screen, Howard was disrupting a play. And big speed there by Howard to come up and get Galligan from behind. Ball comes loose. And So the ball is spotted at the 10 yard line, so it'll be first and goal from the 10. Rogers under center. Hands it off to Rojas over to the right side, and he's brought down immediately there. Dylan Clifford on the tackle for North Quincy. Take a look at the replay here. As you can see, Dylan Clifford held his ground. And nice job there by Clifford coming over. Also over there for North Quincy was number 44, Alan Guan. No gain on the play, second and goal from the 10. Pitch over to the left side, Rojas with it. It's hit in the backfield, still on his feet, but he's going to get hit there for a loss. Nice shot by North Quincy to pursue. And it'll be a loss of one or two on the play. Take a look at the replay here. As again, you can see, Rojas had nowhere to go quickly. And I believe it was Guan who come, came over to strip that play initially. And also over there for North Quincy was number 40. One yard loss. Rogers looking at pass, gets hit as he throws, and nice job there by North Quincy. Dylan Clifford again coming up to disrupt that play. We'll take a look at the replay again. See Clifford coming up there, goes past the running back who came out of the backfield. And instead of the previous play, uh, number 40 made a nice play. I believe it was number actually 47, Noah Baker, who came up there to make the play for North Quincy on uh, two plays ago. So nice job there by Baker. All right, fourth and goal now for Malden Catholic. Ball at the 11-yard line. Rogers over to the right side, looking into the corner of the end zone for Howard, and incomplete, overthrew him. Howard went up to try to get it. Nice coverage there as well by Nate Sampson, and North Quincy is able to hold. We'll take a look at the replay here. As you can see, Rogers was pressured quickly there as well, had to get it away. But just overthrew, again, Ben Howard, number 88. All right, 6.36 left to go here in the third, and North Quincy will take over at their own 11-yard line. So pinned back here, we'll see if North Quincy can get some space between them and the end zone and get downfield. Galligan rolling out to his right, looking to keep it himself, and getting a little bit of space there, and Galligan knocked out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. For two -yard gain. Spot the ball at the 14. Got a pick up of three. Second and seven for the Raiders. Spot the ball out at the 14-yard line.
Green gets hit in the backfield immediately there. Ben Howard comes up quickly and brings him down. Green had nowhere to go. He got the ball and immediately was met there again by number 88, Ben Howard. And they're going to spot the ball back at the 12 yard line. And you know what I'm going to say? They're going to say no gain on the play. So ball's at the 14. Green over the right side is hitting and met immediately there. Richard Indrasano, number 51, nice job there, bringing him down quickly. Gonna spot the ball back at the 11 yard line. Jordan Mahoney will kick the ball away for North Quincy. A nice kick there, and it's going to take a bounce, and pretty much stops right away there at the 38-yard line. All right, so we first and 10 for the Lancers at the North Quincy 38-yard line. So a great field possession, uh, position, excuse me, now for the Lancers. So back-to-back -back drives here now for the Lancers that they've started inside North Quincy territory. Forced a fumble and now with the punt. And off of the right side, number six, Cam Young. And nice job there by North Quincy to come up and bring down the play. Grant Murphy did a great job there to come up and tackle, as you'll see here in the replay for North Quincy. And Murphy coming from behind there and then coming up to help as well was Alan Guan. And they're gonna say a loss of two yards in the play ball goes back to the 40 yard line. Fake handoff of his pass is almost intercepted, but it's a nice catch there by Malden Catholic. And you see it was complete to number 10, Ethan Tracy. Great job there by Tracy to take that ball away. And it's complete up to the 28-yard line, and it's a first down. And it is a Lancer first down at the 28-yard line of North Quincy. Great job there again by Tracy to bring that ball down. Enough up the middle, Rojas, and he's going to get. Tied up there by his feet. A couple of North Quincy players there to bring him down. No gain on the play there by MC. Dylan Clifford in on that tackle initially there down on the ground. Pass is, let's see if it's a backward pass, and it's just a backward pass, and gonna be going all the way down for North Quincy, number seven, Nate Sampson, 
Great job here by Sampson. And flags thrown on the play as I think it'll be after the touchdown. Some plays coming back here, um, some players talking back and forth. But it was a great job there by Sampson to recognize that the ball was live, picked up the ball and has continued to run. Right, again, flags are on the play, and we'll take a replay, look at the replay as soon as we get the uh, call from the official here and see. Actually, North Quincy is going all the way back to. Might have called this a uh, incomplete pass. I'm not too sure. All right, officials are huddling up. So while they do that, we'll take a look at the replay and. It certainly looked like a backward pass from there, but the officials are talking to see what happened. Officials, again, still huddled up there and about midfield. And officials is coming. There's one official coming over to talk to Head coach Ryan Craig, and here comes the referee. Actually, I think he's going to talk to Coach Craig is here before he makes the call as well. All right, so it looks like like they're saying it's going to be a touchdown. Well, if we continue to take a look at the replay one more time to see where the quarterback threw the ball. And yeah, he threw the ball about two yards behind the line, or behind. You can see he's right there about the 33 yard line. And ball bounces definitely at about the 34. So. We have a dead ball, unsportsmanlike against white. We got a dead ball, unsportsmanlike against red. All right, so you heard there that it was offsetting penalties from each team. Caldwell will come out to kick the extra point. Nice job in the truck there. Nailing down those replays. And kick is up and it is good by Caldwell. So with 2.19 left to go here in the third quarter, North Quincy puts a, another seven points on board off the turnover. And they now lead 21 to nothing.
Getting nice heads up play there by Nate Sampson on that last play to run the ball back. Picked it right up. Ball had a great bounce, bounced right into him, and then he just ran it back for the seven points. So they always tell you to you know play the ball as if it's live, and that's exactly what he did, and it paid off for North Quincy. All right, kickoff is going to go to about the 32-yard line, and that's where Malden Catholic will take it. Ball comes loose. And big play there again for North Quincy. Julian Rodriguez jumps on the ball, as we'll see here on the replay. Rodriguez was in at quarterback on that last play, and the ball got tipped there. Ball back at the 25-yard line. And flag thrown on the play. Got a dead ball on Sportsmanlike against Red. So you're going to go 15 yards from here. So MC is going to get 15 yards. So they'll bring the ball up to about the, at the up, excuse me, bring the ball up to the 40-yard line. Second down and about three. Rojas on the carry over to the left side. And picks up the first down and more. Crosses midfield and get pushed out of bounds at about the North Quincy 49 yard line. That's enough for a Lancer first down. Driven out of bounds at about the 49 yard line of North Quincy. First and 10 now for the Lancers. Tracy gets the carry over to the left side, has some space. Nice drop, cut the cut back into the middle of the field, and still on his feet, breaking tackles. And Tracy goes all the way up inside the 30 yard line to the 28. Great run there by number 10, Ethan Tracy. For 10 on the carry, that's Ethan Tracy. Back to back first downs now here for the Lancers. Ball on the move. Pass down the middle of the field. Pass is complete. And up to about the 13 yard line. Douglas Goodwin the catch. On the first down. Ball is on the 12 yard line of North Quincy. Got the ball at the 12 yard line. Pass over to the right side, looking to the corner of the end zone, and it is incomplete. Nice job there by North Quincy. Look like it was number seven again. Nate Sampson to knock that ball away. We'll take a look at the replay here real quick. And again, right there, Sampson comes in and knocks the ball away. Tender receiver was Ayula Adelike, number 11, and he came down hard in the end zone. And 
Hopefully he's okay. I mentioned earlier that uh, North Quincy will have another home game next week, playing on Thursday, September 29th against Abington. And then they'll hit the road for their first home, uh, excuse me, first away game of the season on Friday, September, October 7th. They'll be at Situate. Uh, and then North Quincy back home again after that for two home games on Friday, October 14th, playing Pembroke. And on the October 21st, Friday, playing Plymouth South. And then North Quincy will finish the regular season on the road at Hanover on Friday, October 28th. Last year when North Quincy went down to Abington, it was an exciting game. Came down towards the end and North Quincy Came out on the losing end, unfortunately, losing that game 27-21, to 21, but it was a very tight game. Abington always, in, always a very good team. Uh, so North Quincy will get them here at the stadium next week instead, looking to see if they can avenge that loss from last year. Adelike is up off the field. He's being helped off. Looks like he's trying to keep pressure off of his right foot. Now trying to put a little bit of a pressure on and see if he can help walk off, but still trying to keep it up in the air. And they're gonna see if they can try to get him off the field there still. The players helping him. All right, back to action here now. Second down and 10 from the 12 yard line for Malden Catholic. And handoff goes to Ben Howard, number 88. But North Quincy's right there to bring him down. Will Conley in over there to help leading the charge along with Alan Guan. No gain on the play. Quincy plays accidentally hit the football, so they stopped the clock to re-get it. Rogers looking to pass middle of the field, has a man, and it's incomplete, and flag is thrown on the play. It's going to be pass interference in the end zone against North Quincy. Take a look at the replay here. As you can see, the North Quincy defender look like came over the shoulder of the intended receiver. Pass was intended for Douglas Goodwin. And they're gonna say that the North defender had his arm wrapped around. It 
It's going to be on a snap. Oh. Uh, a pass interference against Red. They're down. And they spot the ball at the six yard line. Third down and about four now. And just as they snap the ball, whistles blow. And North Quincy called a timeout just before the snap happened. back on the clock as the clock did start. play here of the quarter. Enough goes up the middle to Tracy and North Quincy right there to bring him down. Noah Baker the comes carry. up there and helps to make bring him down. We'll take a look at the replay here. Nice job there. Jordan Mahoney, number 10, also coming up there for North Quincy. Number 70 as well. Robert Wallenjohn for the Raiders. All three doing a nice job there. Bring down the ball. And we're going to spot the ball back to about the eight yard line. So at the end of three quarters of play, North Quincy with a 21 0 lead. Over Malden Catholic. Remind all of our viewers you can log on to Quincy Access TV's website at qatv.org for program schedules, membership information, video on demand, and live streaming as well. So again, qatv.org. Remember to take, take a look at our live stream for Channel 8, our public access channel, and Channel 9, our government access channel. So you can take a look at those streams and all of our video on demand for all the shows produced by the staff of Quincy Access TV, including high school sports, everything at qatv.org slash sports. We'll be back here again tomorrow night at Veterans Memorial Stadium when the Quincy Presidents host the Westwood Wolverines at 7 p.m. That game will be live on QATV as well. at the six yard line. Fourth down here for MC. They 
can get a first down without it getting a touchdown. Pass into the end zone, and it is incomplete. Flag thrown on the play. Looks like we might have another pass interference in the end zone against North Quincy. Take a look at the replay here. Pass was intended for Ethan Tracy. Pass was thrown by the still fourth down. Flag was thrown by the back truck. Still there. fourth down. Pass interference on red. Still fourth down. So the ball goes up to the three yard line. Fourth and one for um, Alden Catholic. And off to Tracy in the backfield. And the North Quincy does a great job there to bring him down. Noah Baker coming up to make the play, as well as number 70 for North Quincy, Robert Wallenjohn, as we'll see here on the replay. And Baker came right up there to make the initial hit, and Wallen John finished him off for North Quincy as they hold there deep in their own territory. So first and 10. For North Quincy, ball on their own eight yard line. Enough up the middle for the fullback for North Quincy. And going up to the 13, maybe the 14 yard line, goes number 44, Alan Guan. Take a look at the replay here. As you can see Guan trying to get a little bit of space here for North Quincy. And uh, <laughs> cancel out that replay. Oh, I'm being told now in the truck that we do have here, as you can see here. Went right to go on right up the middle, put his shoulder down, and went over one, two plays there. And nice job there by Alan Guan. Six yard gain, ball up to 14 yard line, second down and four for North Quincy. Guan again on the carry up the middle and fighting his way forward, and they're going to spot him down. Let's see where they spot him down at about the 17, eight yard line. Again on the carry, across the 15. And let's see. We spot the ball at the 17 yard line. So third and one now for North Quincy. Galligan keeps it himself and picks up the first down and more. Nice job there by Mikey Galligan in the defense, excuse me, in the offensive blocking in front of him. And first down up to about the, they spot all the way up to the 24 yard line. Galligan just ran it right up the middle. Take a look quickly at the replay as North comes to the line. Galligan just quickly ran up the middle there on the snap. You can see right there, goes right up the middle. Nice job there by Galligan as well. Almost got the ball stripped away by Marcus Rojas, number eight from Alton Catholic, but Galligan holds on to it. All right, over to the right side for North Quincy goes number 21 and Ben Hudak. And Hudak will get up to about the 28 yard line. Four yard gain there by Hudak. Tackle made by number nine, Anthony Noble for MC.
Handoff up the middle for North Quincy. Malvin Catholic says the ball came loose and they have it. And I'm going to say ball carry was down. So no gain on the play. Third and six for North Quincy. Three receivers to the right of Galligan. Galligan rolling over to that side and it's going to get knocked out of bounds. At about the 30 yard line, maybe the 31. Knocked out of bounds by number 11. That's Ayula Adelaide. Ayula Adelaide made the tackle, so good to see him back in the game for MC. That'll bring up fourth down for the Raiders, fourth and four. Jordan Mahoney with the kick and takes a MC bounce. All right, ball is going to be spotted at the 41 yard line. Eight oh seven left to go here in the ball game. North on top, twenty one nothing. Lance is back with the ball again on their own forty one yard line. Pass is gonna be picked up by North Quincy. Nate Sampson has one man to beat. Cuts it back up in the middle of the field at the 10 at the 5. Will get brought down inside the 5 yard line. Great job there by Sampson. Jumped the route and goes back there to a great return. As we'll see here on the replay, Nate Sampson having himself quite a game here. Sampson did a great job there. Just read the quarterback and jumped in front of the receiver. And Sampson gets again brought down inside the 5. Call it the 4 yard line. Great effort there by Sampson. Again, he's having quite a game here for North Quincy. All right, so North now, first and goal from the four. Handoff goes to Sydney Green, and we'll see if they call him in for the touchdown. I think he's going to be just shy down at the one yard line. All right, here we go, North Quincy, first and goal from the one now. Galligan keeps it himself, and touchdown, North Quincy. Gets a little help from the backs behind him, and Galligan puts it in for the one-yard run for another six points for North Quincy, as we'll see here in the replay. And Galligan goes right up the middle, gets some help there from Guan and also from Green for the six points.
player down in the end zone for Malvin Catholic. Seven oh six left to go here in the game. As you can see, a little bit of the, the wind here at Veterans Memorial Stadium picking up. Storm coming up the coast here, and trees are blowing. The it's a little deceiving. The flag in the corner of the stadium isn't blowing, but you can certainly see the trees blowing here and there. Uh, as you saw on the camera shot down there. Lancer player being helped off the field. Looks like it's Ben Howard, number 88, being helped off. That's number 88, Ben Howard. Let's hope he's okay. All right, so North comes to the line. Nate Caldwell and broken play pass is going to be complete though. Paul Glenn, number 84, gets the two points. We'll take a look at the replay here. And nice job there by North. And you can see that Will Conley couldn't hold on to the ball, but heads up play there by North Quincy. It almost looked like it might have been a design play there. And it looks like it was. It was a design two-point, possibly, as Conley was blocking and then released and came out and was open in the end zone. So make it 29-0 North Quincy. 7.06 left to go here in the game. Caldwell kicks it deep. Ball gets touched there by Malvin Catholic. They couldn't hold on to it. Anthony Noble. So the ball's going to bounce and be down, and they're going to put him down at the 17 yard line. First and 10 Lancer. I remember back in the spring, North Quincy's basketball team went to Malden Catholic and uh, played them in the, the playoffs. And uh, Malden Catholic had a huge win over North and a lot of those players from the basketball team on the football team. So I won't be surprised if they had that in the back of their heads looking to get a little bit of payback here on the gridiron instead. Down by number 88, and they up for 80 for the relay. Raiders. Pick up a four. Mark the ball down at the 23 four yard line. Five. Second and five for the Lancers. Rojas on the carry over to the left side. 
Still on his feet. Great job there by Rojas. Over to the right side now. Down to the right sideline. And it's going to get pushed out of bounds there by Nate Sampson. But a huge run there by Rojas. All the way up to the North Quincy 35-yard line. Let's take a look at the replay here. And Rojas did a great job cutting across the whole field. And right there as he evades a couple of tackles. Sneaks behind some of his blockers and goes down the right side of the field and pushed out and will call it the 39-yard line, make it the 38. First and 10, Lancers. Rojas again over to the left side this time, has some space. And jumps over one tackler, still on his feet, and will get brought down out of bounds. And a late flag is thrown as well. We might have a late hit out of bounds. Rojas gets brought down at about the 25 yard line. We'll see what the penalty is here as well. It was thrown well after the play. Take a look at the replay real quick as the officials hammer out the penalty. Right there, nice jump there. Oh, a flag was thrown there. So looks like might multiple flags thrown on the play. So two flags thrown on the play, so we'll see. We've got a hold on White. You got a dead ball. Personal foul, late hit out of bounds by Red. It's going to be a first down. -like conduct against the Raiders. All right, so the unsportsmanlike conduct uh, against North Quincy. They're going to spot the ball at the 26 yard line. Block at the back against the Lancers. Unsportsmanlike conduct against the Raiders. It's a first down. So it'll be a first down for Malden Catholic. Six yard line of North Quincy. First and 10 Lancers. Rojas again on the carry. Number eight, Rojas on the carry. Yeah, let's see, gets inside the 25, make it the 24 yard line. The pickup of two, second and eight. Rojas now with 140 yards rushing here from Malvin Catholic. Pass downfield, and it is so gonna say incomplete. Skip just off the ground before the intended receiver, number 12, Doug Goodwin, could get it. So bring up now a third and eight for the Lancers.
Fake the handoff pass is complete to Goodwin at the 13 yard line where he gets brought down and give him an extra yard up to the 12. Number 12, Goodwin. Result of that play is a Lancer first down. So first down for the Lancers, ball at the 12-yard line. Enough goes over to the left side, crossing the 10-yard line and getting knocked out of bounds at about the seven-yard line, Cam Young. Bring up second down now for the Lancers. Rojas with the carry over to the right side. Gets inside the five and we'll get stopped there. Rojas Maybe to the four the yard line. Goes Marcus Rojas. And they do spot him down at the, looks like the three yard line. So third and one now. Rojas to the left, has the first down and fighting his way for the touchdown and touchdown, Malden Catholic. Rojas fought his way in after the initial that hit and touchdown stretch Lancer. across the line for the touchdown. Take a look at the replay here as you can see in the second effort here by Rojas. And we'll get it queued back up here for you. See there again by Rojas, got hit around the one, one and a half yard line, but fought his way forward and fell into the end zone for the touchdown. And just lining up for the two point conversion. Just looking pass being pursued, throws it into the end zone, and it is intercepted by North Quincy. So the attempt is no good. Ariel White coming down with the ball for North Quincy. Take a quick look at the replay here on the two point conversion. You can see White coming across the end zone. And right there, ball got tipped actually. That looks like by number seven, Nate Sampson for North Quincy. And into the hands of White. So conversion no good and North now with a 29 to six lead. 3.56 left to go here in the ball game. North Quincy taking on Abington next week here at the stadium. Malton Catholic will host Neshoba next week. Number 67, Nicholas Paiva will kick off for the Lancers to receive for the Raiders. Number five, Nate Caldwell. Number nine, Sydney Green. And onside kick attempt, great job there by North Quincy. Number 47, Noah Baker. Field of that ball cleanly and just pounded on it right at the 50 the yard line. See here that effort here by Baker. 
And took a nice bounce there, but Baker was ready for it. Came up out of his stance and brought it down. Great job there by Baker. Being told it was um, 92 minutes the North Quincy Raiders went before a score was allowed here in the season. So nice job there by North. And nice addition in the truck. All right, North comes out. Pitch over to the right side. Tudak on the carry over to the right side. Makes a couple of men miss. Still down to go on the sideline. Stays in bounds. It goes in for the touchdown. Ben Hudak, great run there for North Quincy. Evaded a couple of tackles and just goes all the way in for the score, as you'll see here on the replay. And right there, Hudak gets away from two tacklers, stays in bounds, and goes it all the way. player on the field there is Ben Howard. We saw him go off earlier and he got shaken up on that play there as well. Extra point. Kick is up and it is good. The kick is good. By Nate Caldwell. So 36 to 6 lead for North Quincy with 344 left to go in the game. Take a look at the replay of uh, the of the, the extra point attempt. Giovanni Vargas, number forty three for the Lancers, almost snuck in there to block that kick. Caldwell able to get it away. And you can see the clock is running now with the large lead here in the end of the game. So we're running clock. came loose off the tee twice there, so North will have to hold it now. We talked about the wind kicking up here and there, and the, you can see, certainly see the trees, all the wind kicking up here at the stadium, and the flag unfurling as well. Caldwell kicks it deep. And ball's going to go all the way back and jumping on it at about the three yard line. Does Malden Catholic. 
Anthony Noble falls on the ball. Inside the five yard line, where the Lancers will go on offense. We've seen MC struggle on the kickoffs all game long here. Under a minute to go here. You might have seen uh, graphics on screen on occasion tonight. Uh, Damien Ritchie was supposed to be joining me up here in the booth. Unfortunately, last second could not make it. Damien, a uh, Malden Catholic graduate, and was looking forward to being here. Uh, he's joined me in a couple of the games when uh, MC has played Quincy High. Um, but unfortunately, again, last second could not get up to the booth, but we wish Damien well. With that, MCs is going to take the kneel. And that will be the ball game as the teams come to the sidelines here in North Quincy. It, Another convincing victory here in back-to-back games. I mentioned beating Somerville 44-0 in here to date now. We'll top off Malden Catholic by a score of 36 to 6. So great job by North Quincy. Real quick, we'll run down some stats. Mikey Galligan, 5 of 7 passing for 73 yards and one touchdown pass. Galligan also had two touchdowns on the ground for 69 yards rushing. Ben Hudak had that one big run as well. Two rushes, 53 yards, and the touchdown for North Quincy. Nate Sampson had one reception for 35 yards and a touchdown. Jordan Mahoney, two catches for 34 yards for North Quincy. For Malden Catholic, George Rogers, 6 of 15 passing for 71 yards. Rushing the ball, Marcus Rojas had a big game for MC, 25, 25 rushes for 147 yards and the lone touchdown for the Lancers as well. Douglas Goodwin, two catches for 28 yards and Ethan Tracy, three catches for 33 yards. And that is the final score here, 36 to 6. Again, North Quincy on top. Mentioned a couple times, North Quincy will be back here at the stadium next Thursday, September 29th, to face off against Abington. QA TV will be here and have live coverage of that game as well, beginning at 7 p.m. Tune in to QA TV Channel 8, QA TV, our HD channel 1072, and online at qatv.org slash sports. I want to thank all the crew and volunteers that came out here tonight at the stadium to make this game possible. On camera, we had Scott Daniels. On graphics, Anna El Torre. Our engineer, Chris Potter, and our director, Peter Daugherty. So my name is Jonathan Clary. Final score here, final time. North Quincy goes to 2-0 in the season with a 36-6 victory over Malden Catholic. For everyone at QA TV, we want to thank you for tuning in to this edition of QA TV Sports. We'll see you next time.